Hello, my beautiful Libras. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com. Here to bring you your monthly forecast for December 2019. Guys, you can check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign if you'd like more information. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. So this is going to be the X that you're, you tune this video on, you turn this video on for, the one that you're thinking about the most, the one that you're here for, okay? So we're gonna find out how does this person feel about you? Um, do they love you? How are they feeling? What's going on with them? Um, what's the blockages? Why haven't you guys reconciled? What's happening here? What's keeping you guys from being apart? As well as how do they feel about having a reconciliation? Do they want one? And will you guys have a reconciliation at, in the month of December? And of course, I'm gonna ask for some advice from the Romance Angels uh, pertaining to what you can do about the situation, okay? Of course, you have free will, so you can do whatever you like. You don't have to take this advice. It's up to you. All right, so let's jump right in. So for my Libras, romantic love life, tell me about their ex, their ex love interest, the one they want to know about, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about the most. How does my Libras ex love interest feel about my Libras romantically for the month of December? How does my Libra's ex love interest feel about my Libra's for the month of December? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. How does my Libra's ex love interest feel about my Libra's romantically? Okay, that feels good. Let's jump right in. Okay, Libras, they find you very attractive, okay? So the Queen of Wands energy is a sexy, attractive energy, okay? So they find you very attractive. They've been patient when it comes to their passions. They feel that they want to make some choices or they want you to make some heavy choices here, okay? What are heavy choices? They are to do with long-term things like children, like marriage, like, um, you know, money, serious things. They want a choice here. They're trying to make some type of choice. And also the tree being in the card, tree for me in Lenormand represents healing. So they find you very attractive. They find you very sexy. They're trying to make the choice to heal the situation, okay? And they also feel that you are a type of person that tells it like it is, Queen of Swords energy. You speak your mind here with the Queen of Swords energy, okay? So that's your energy, Libra, Queen of Swords. And they are feeling like they want to make some type of choice here or they want you to make a type of choice because of the fact that you're central here in the issue. You're, you're right there, Libra, Queen of Swords. And they do feel like they want to take charge of the situation when it comes to you. And for me, the Chariot card is a card of, of travel or long distance. They want to travel towards you. They want to take charge of this. They want to be victorious here with the Chariot card. The central theme here for you in pertaining to their feelings is they want to tell you like it is queen of swords energy they want to tell you like it is and what is flanking this card choices about choices two of wands and two of pentacles in order for this for them to be victorious uh, they feel like they want to tell you like it is around a choice or they want you to make a choice so they can be victorious because they find you very attractive with the queen of wands energy all right, so what is the blockage? What's keeping these two from reconciling? Why haven't they reconciled? Why haven't they reconciled? What is keeping Libra from reconciling with their ex-love interest? What's the blockage here? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. What's the blockage between Libra and Libra's ex-love interest? Okay, that feels good. The blockage is something to do with love, abundance, and also remember this is the mother, mother of the Major Arcana card. So there could be a mother energy involved with this situation, okay? There could be a potential pregnancy involved with the situation because the Empress is fertility. It's a representation of fertility, a motherly energy. Something to do with that is blocking things. And because of this, this is uh, leaving someone out in the cold or something needs to be left out in the cold, five of pentacles energy. Because of a choice, now we're looking at this card, we see children in this card, okay? So there could be children involved with the situation. And this is soulmate connection. Obviously, we see that your love interest wanted some kind of choice. 
So this is something to do with using your heart to make a choice. So for some of you, it's about love, okay? That the choice needs to be made to use your heart and that's not being done here. And this is leaving someone out in the cold, five of pentacles energy. And because of this choice or this indecision or this compromise, this is a burden and a challenge with the cross card. And there is a crossroads right now because someone does want to communicate or someone wants someone to move fast or there is a communication that's blocked here because the eight of wands is there and that represents communication. So the central reason why you guys haven't reconciled is because someone is not making the choice here to use their heart. They're not realizing there's a soulmate connection, two of cups energy. And this is leaving this person or you out in the cold Five of Pentacles energy because of the fact that there is a burden and challenge because someone's indecisive about whether or not they want to communicate. And communicate what? Something to do with love, abundance, or something to do with a motherly kind of energy with the Empress card. So let's see how your ex-love interest Libra feels about having a reconciliation. How does Libra's ex-love interest feel about having a reconciliation in the month of December? How does Libra's ex-love interest feel about having a reconciliation in the month of December? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Okay, how do they feel about it? Wow. So, King of Wands is actually a positive card. They would like to take a leadership role here. They'd like to be a natural born leader and take control of this and make wise choices when it comes to passion with you. They are burdened and challenged or there is some kind of burden that's on their mind around this. Okay. There's still hurt and pain. They do feel that this would be a wise choice when it comes to long-term commitment, King of Pentacles energy. And they want or they are trying to come to some kind of decision here with the Justice card. And obviously that's your energy because they have hope here that things can work out with the Star card. Okay, and the central thing about how they feel about it, obviously it's a very positive card, King of Pentacles. They would like to do it. They feel that it would be a wise choice when it comes to long-term commitment and they want stability and loyalty and there's something around family there with the King of Pentacles energy. Okay, so let's see if you guys are gonna have a reconciliation. Will Libra have a reconciliation with their ex-love interest? The one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, Will Libra have a reconciliation with their ex-love interest in the month of December 2018? Will Libra have a reconciliation with their ex-love interest in the month of December 2019? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Okay, Six of Pentacles, there's only two people in this card. So there's an issue about balance, a healing that's happening here with you and your ex-love interest. Six is here, so there's a healing here. Someone does want to give someone some time here with the Six of Pentacles energy. There is still a bit of a defensive energy here because someone's still getting over being hurt. So they're a bit defensive about it. Like, I don't know, I don't know. There's stress and anxiety around it because of heartache here or longing for some kind of loyalty or there's something that's anchoring the situation with the Three of Swords energy. Does look like there's some kind of recognized victory or message here about healing. And there are still maybe some arguments and disputes to be worked out here with the Five of Wands energy. Okay, so for you guys, it does look like you guys will communicate with the Six of Wands energy and there is some healing that's going to happen between you guys, but there's still defensive energy here. Someone's still kind of dealing with stress and anxiety because of heartache or something surrounding possibly more than one person or just the fact that there's still heartache here. And there could still potentially be arguments and disputes with this person or there's still competition here with the Five of Wands energy. But yeah, it does look like there's going to be some communication, some healing that's going to happen here. Someone's gonna give someone some time, but there's still gonna be some issues between you and your love interest, okay? So be aware of that. All right, so can I have some advice of what Libra can do pertaining to their ex-love interest? So Libra, you don't have to take this advice if you don't want to, it's completely up to you, you have free will. So can I have some advice for my Libras and what they can do about 
their ex love interest for the month of December. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So they're saying you can make the effort here. You can clearly decide to make the effort here because great love is worth taking the steps you're going to take because yes, this is your soulmate connection, okay? And this is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your romantic love life. I said there is healing going on here, but still going to be a little bit of a defensive energy. But obviously, Spirit is saying you can you can just make the effort because yes, this is your soulmate, and this is worth waiting for. Okay, so this is work worth working out here, Libra. All right, all right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. You can follow me on Facebook or Instagram under Jennifer Walker Zen. I will be releasing some spreads and stuff on some uh, tarot card readings over there on my Instagram and Facebook. So watch out for that. I should be doing that soon. I love you guys so much and have a great month.